Hey guys, and thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to go over the Pick 10 system within Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Um, I've wanted to go over this since the, uh, well, since the game released, really. Um, I know how the Pick 10 system works, but I personally don't think it's that apparent exactly how useful it can be to everyone, especially new people to the game, might not necessarily know how flexible it is and how to use it properly. So I felt, um, I, I kind of felt the need to just go over it, explain it, so people coming into the game know exactly what they can do with this system. Because the Pick 10 system is actually very, very customizable. It means you can play exactly how you want to play, and I, I like the idea of it, uh, you know, very much. It also means that when you're in a game, you're very, very unlikely to find somebody that's using the exact same setup as you are. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. So let me explain to you what it is. So, let's have a look at one of my classes here. I've got the uh, Scorpion Evo here equipped. The name Pick 10 is going to give something away. Essentially, you can pick 10 things, okay? So I've got my Evo, my two attachments, which is three. My sidearm, which is four. I've got four perks, which is eight. I've got a concussion grenade, which is nine. And I've got a wild card, which I'll go over in a second, which is ten. Now, what this system is, you can pick any of these things as long as it amounts to ten. So I can have two perks if I want to. I can have two perk ones. I can have two perk twos. And I can have two perk threes if I really want to. But that will mean I'll have to sacrifice, you know, I'll have to sacrifice maybe a uh, concussion grenade, a sidearm, all attachments, that sort of thing. So, what it's basically doing, if we go into it now, and let me, let me get rid of this. Let's say, for instance, I have a standard setup. So let's say I've got two attachments on my uh, main weapon, I've got my pistol, uh, and I've got three standard perks. What I want to do, though, is I'm thinking to myself, well, I want a second perk. Uh, I, I like two perks in, in perk two. I like toughness, and I like fast hands, and I, I want both of them. So I can do that. I can go down to what's called a wild card. Now, I, I can have up to three wild cards. And what these wild cards do is it lets me have uh, another perk in perk one, or two, or three. Um, it lets me take a third attachment for my weapon if I want to. Uh, I can have a second attachment in uh, in my second weapon. Um, I can also take a primary as my second weapon, etc, etc. And these are what these do. So I can say, right, I want to have a second perk. So I've put the wildcat in, take second perk. Now what that means now is that my uh, second perk slot here, I've, I've had another one added to it, so I'll go in there and I'll pick fast hands. But what it's telling me is I've got too many items now. I can only have 10 items. Now, the wild card that I just used, that also counts towards one item. So if I want to add a second perk onto one of my slots, I have to bear in mind that I technically need to have two spaces. I need one for the wild card allowing me to add a second perk, and then I need the second perk itself. So I'm just going to go ahead here and I'm going to get rid of one of my concussion grenades. So then, if we count them back up again, I've got my main weapon, two attachments in sidearm, which is four. I've then got my uh, perk two greed, which is the wild card, which is five. And then I've got uh, my four perks and a semtex, which, which equals five as well. So now you can begin to see how this works. But I can mix it up however I want. I mean, I could say, right, okay, well, I don't want any of these attachments. And I don't want a sidearm either, to be honest with you. What I want instead is I want I want a second a second perk which I'm going to unlock I'm going to have that and I want I want flak I want to take less damage so now I've got four five six seven so I can add in another one let's say let's add another one let's add in ooh I want another perk three so I'm going to add in dead silence and I'm going to get rid of my semtex so now, the setup we've got now is a pretty crazy one. I've just got my main weapon. I have no attachments on it. I have no secondary. I have no lethals. I have no tactical. But what I've got instead is I've got two perks on every slot. But the reason that I, you know, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But unfortunately, three of these slots are taken up by the wildcard allowing me to have these things. And that's what you've got to bear in mind. The wild card also takes up a slot as well. 
But you know, these things. It, it, the amaze, uh, the amazing thing about the system is it can com be completely, completely customizable. I mean, should you wish to, and not that you would. However, in some of the challenges for like the gold um, on the camos, you have to play without perks. So what you could do is you could get rid of perks completely. You could have let's have an, two attachments um, on there. Let's add in our pistol. Let's do that. And let's have a wild card where I have a primary uh, as my secondary. Um, and let's see, what else would I want? I would want a third attachment as well. So now I can have a third attachment. We'll put a reflex sight on there. And I'm going to have... I'm going to... Th this is insane. I've got a scorpion, okay, as my primary weapon. This is the fastest firing SMG in the game. And then, just because just because I can, I have apparently got a vector as my uh, as my secondary um, instead of a pistol. So there we've got three, four, five, six, seven. So I've still got three slots left. So I can add an attachment on. Let's add on the foregrip to that. And what I might want to do is I might want to add a second attachment onto that side arm. So let's take let's take this wildcard, add on a second attachment. And there, we've got a crazy setup again now, completely different to the last one we had. We've got no perks, but this is something that you might want to use potentially if, say for instance, you're working towards the camo for your main gun and you have to play without perks. Um, so you've got a main weapon with three attachments and then you've got a side uh, a side arm, which it happens to be a main weapon, with two attachments as well. And this is how flexible this thing can be. I mean, it can be as flexible as you want it to be. Or you can just, if you want to, you can just play with, you know, the standard, the standard setup that you're used to from previous Call of Duties, um, you know, and that'll work fine. Whatever works for you. I'm just going to set mine back up to uh, how it was. Uh, dexterity. Uh, don't usually have a third one in there, but as you can see, that's that's how it works. You know, you can you can set this up however you want. And if you want to do it um, differently to the way I've done it, then that's great because that's the whole point of the system. Um, and really, it's probably the best system that I've seen in the Call of Duty's gone by because I just love the way you can change it as much as you want to. So check it out, guys. I hope this has been helpful for, for some people. Um, like and subscribe. And, of course, I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.